Hello and what is going on guys, Tomcat here and we are on an interesting map today. This map is part of the La Luna map series and it's supposed to be pretty much the ultimate like treacherous dangerous road. So I brought a couple of different vehicles along, ones that I feel like would be uh, up to such a task. I brought the Western Star from the American Wilds DLC, I brought Spun's Suburban and I brought Frog's First Gen. Now I am uh, I'm curious as to how because, see, I was originally going to bring, like, the Freightliner or something, and then I was like, wait a minute. The Freightliner, if the going gets tough, the Freightliner's not going to make it. And that's and that's not even, like, like a question. You know what I mean? Like, that's barely even a question. Like, the, uh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got an idea here, I think. Ooh, I hope. Let's see... Oh, God. Where's my trailer hitch? There it is. Flatbed semi-trailer. Boom! Boom! Okay. So now... I was about to say, we're not going anywhere. It says that this is not recommended. Um, I wonder why. I wonder why it says this is not recommended. Now, I'm going to lower those ramps down. Oh, it just does it on its own. Oh, that's awesome. You don't even have to go through, like, you don't even have to, like, hold anything. It just lowers the ramps. That's perfect. Uh-oh. Please don't freeze. Okay, I was about to say, please don't freeze. What's that one? Oh, it's got its own trailer. I always forget that it has its own trailer. So let's get you up on the back here. And, uh-oh, that's not good. Is that about as far up as I wanted it to be? Okay, stop right there. Stop engine. Now, can we fit the Suburban on the back? That's the question. At least that's the question I have. I think it might be able to, but it's going to be tight. Um, that's going to be that's gonna be the big thing, because this Suburban is long. Well, no. No, it's got it. It's able to fit, which is surprising. But at the same time, it's really, really good, because I did not think we were going to fit that on there. All right. So now, as you can see... We have a suburban and a first gen Dodge on the back of this uh, on the back of this flatbed. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit and refill the fuel, and I'm just gonna tow these as far as I possibly can because I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to go that far with them. Um, this might go this might go really really far. This might not go far at all. Uh, I am not sure, but the cool thing about it is that they're on a trailer that has, like, sides to it. I don't even know what you would call those bits on the side of the trailer that keep stuff on the trailer. Just basically, like, little, well, sides. Uh, oh my god, the mountains are popping in now. Um, it's like, okay, welcome to, welcome to what has the potential to be a, uh, a very, very, very interesting episode. <laughs> That dodge is rolling farther and farther forward as we go. I'm a little I'm a little worried about it actually. I kind of want to back it up. I want to get it off the bridge first though before I do anything with any of the vehicles on the trailer. I want to get the truck off the bridge. All right. Yeah, I want to back the dodge up cuz the dodge the dodge is just kind of sitting in a really precarious spot. There we go. Just kind of back it up to where it's, like, touching the Suburban. Because I feel like if it's touching the Suburban, there's a lot... I don't know. I feel like that way, it's, like, everything's a lot more tightly packaged. And there's a lot less, like, to actually worry about. So, all right. Got navigation revealed. Oh, God. So, we could go left, and that takes us under the bridge. And then down along... Why would we want to go down there? Ugh. We could also go the other way, too. This map is, like, so stupid huge. It's not even... Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. Oh, my God. We can't go this way. All this goes to is a fuel station. And that's it. All this goes to is a fuel station. Dude, we've so been lied to. Oh my god, we've so been lied to. Yeah, I think we're going to take this route because... Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's muddy, it's mucky, but at the same time, at least we brought the truck that could deal with it. I mean, 
if we had brought the Freightliner, our our adventure would be over. Like, it would literally be over right there because the Freightliner would already be complaining about this. It's, but then again, so would the Ford. I mean, I'm not associating, like, Freightliner with not, you know, like, saying Freightliner is better than all the other options because, honestly, the biggest thing is the fact that this truck is higher. It's got, you know, it's higher. All the axles are driven, and it's got better tires and bigger tires. So, well, and and a lot of times with tires, bigger is better when it comes to off road. So, oh my God, are you gonna bottom out? Please don't bottom out. God, I, I, I there is there are some other maps that I would not want to imagine trying to do this, like trying to take this this trailer on, because it would just be too low. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, all you could do is go straight. Wow, all you could do is just keep going forward. And that is just that's that's about the scariest thing I've ever seen a trailer do in this game. Like one of the scariest things. I'm trying to go wide, but I can only go so wide, you know what I mean? Like I can genuinely only go so wide here. Please don't tip. Please don't tip. I'm trying to make the trailer not tip. I'm trying to get the trailer to slide, frankly. Because if I can get it to slide, like slide back down onto the road, then it should be okay. All right, we got mud to deal with now. The mud is usually not that bad, like as long as it's not super soft. Like if it's super soft, we might have a bit of an issue, but it doesn't look like it's really bad. So we might be okay. Got some, like, interesting rock textures out here, too. Like, this is definitely not your normal, average, everyday map. That's for sure. I'm thinking that the best thing, the best thing for us is going to be just to, like, stay as out of trouble as we can, but uh, but also trying to, like, trying to follow the line that they've, that they've kind of set for you on the map because... If we follow the line somewhat close to the way they set it out for you to follow, you'll be okay. And I, I firmly believe that if we had not had these little, like, basically, like, guards on the side of the trailer, that one or both of the vehicles would have slid off to the side already. God, look at this. Look at the rays of light coming down. That's insane. Already going under the bridge. Yeah, you can tell because of the way the camera's freaking out. This camera doesn't like going under things. It never has. Like, even since the first game, it's never liked going under stuff. Like, that's always been a big, like, that's always been a big no-no for the Spin Tires camera system. It, it always hates going under stuff. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why it's got this this massive distaste for, for driving under things. But it's the same for, like, bridges or big rocks or anything that you could drive under. It just doesn't like it. Now, in any other vehicle, I mean, hell, probably the Dodge and definitely the Suburban, I would try to go, like, drive out through that. In this, that's a hell no from me, just because you would be, you would be stupid to try to take a fully loaded semi-truck out there through rocks. I mean, it's like, that's, it's literally the worst decision, you know what I mean? It's literally the worst decision you could possibly make, so I would advise against it, highly. Now, I'm thinking that the best course of action here is going to be to do... Eh, hmm. I want to say... Oh, God. Where do we even go from here? Do we go all the way across? Oh, God. Not sure I'm looking forward to this. I mean, like... Just follow the rock. Just follow the rocks. There we go. This truck seems to really like to grab traction on rocks. So that's what we're going to play to. It's advantage. we got to play to the advantage of the truck because that's the only way we're going to get through obstacles like this. But I'll tell you something. Even, like, already, I feel very, 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 like, you, you feel a sense of accomplishment once you, like, get this far in a truck this big um, in an environment like this. So now we're kind of having to go against the current of the river, and that is not... Not the greatest thing for a truck like this. It, it it never is. But as the game is keen to tell me, though, we are fully loaded up with fuel. Fully filled up with fuel, I should say. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just spinning there now. 
God, she really doesn't want to. Oh, she does now. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. I'm already super proud of this truck. I'm, I actually really am. And the interesting thing to me, though, about this map, right? So it was created without, like, completely with, like, stock game uh, assets. It wasn't that he didn't use any of the American Wilds assets, which, I mean, if you don't have American Wilds, I guess that's a good thing because you could still play this map. However, I'm using an American Wilds truck on the map, so it's kind of... It's kind of weird in that regard. And I don't know if it's bothering anybody else that the Dodge's reverse lights are still on, but it's bothering the hell out of me for some reason. Like, I just want to get in it and turn the lights off. I'm also really, really tempted to either put it in automatic mode or put it into high. But at the same time, I know that both of those decisions could end up turning like, out really, really badly. And I don't want this thing to get stuck. I mean, we've come so far already that it's... Like, we've come so far already that it's, like, it's not at a place where I want to risk getting it stuck. And in the grand scheme of things, like, in the grand scheme of this map, we haven't actually gotten all that far. But at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, we still, it's like, you don't want to go back and retrace your steps. You really, 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 really don't. So, especially on a map like this, with cargo like this, you really don't want to go back and retrace your steps. With that being said, I would probably feel confident about going into automatic on the stiffer surfaces. Um, because I, I don't think I would feel like the truck was going to sink. But I don't think the stiff, like, the, I don't think the harder packed surfaces actually last for very long. So, uh, I was like, I'm going to try high range and didn't really like it didn't really go too well it just kind of sat there and spun so it was like it's like eh, hey, we'll probably stay away from high range for now staying away from high range is probably the best thing to do anyway for like for this portion of the video or the episode mm, where does the trail go i mean oh i see it it's all the way on the other side oh god this is gonna be this is gonna be fun I'm so worried about the trailer getting high-centered. That's, like, the biggest concern right now. I mean, we have winch points with these fallen trees. We're actually coming at this with a little bit of speed, but there it is. All right. That is a bottomed-out trailer if I've ever seen one. All right, so the winch is going to be our only help in a situation like that. All right, so let's keep that released. I'm going to try and attack this kind of diagonally so we can maybe get it to pick up a wheel before it does anything else. Ah, it doesn't want to. See, it doesn't want to. I was trying to get one of the trailer wheels, like, onto the, um, like, onto the rock before the, uh, before the trailer got high-centered, but... And see, I'm trying to pull the trailer towards those trees, but what would that be? Left? Yeah, that would be to the trailer's left. And it's... Uh, it's sort of working. The truck is moving. But it's also not moving enough to where I think it makes that much difference. Yeah, see, we're just stuck here spinning. We're just stuck here spinning. So I want to say that the... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. And that was really our only shot at getting it up over this, like, this rock anyway. And keep in mind, we're attacking this in the type of truck that they told us not to attack it in. So, I, I'm, I'm, like, even if this is as far as we got, I mean, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be proud of it, but still. Our wheels are up, so, yes! Yes! Oh my god, it was able to do that. That's insane that it was able to do that. I'm blown away that it was able to do that. That's ridiculous. Alright, so this looks a little muddy, but not too bad. And hopefully this should start the, uh... Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, please don't crash on me. No, 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 no! No! 